Let's talk about photo printing. Now, the moment I say photo printing, what comes to mind is a computer, bring up the picture on uh, Photoshop or Lightroom, give a print command to your inkjet printer, and out comes the print. But we do realize that photographic printing, photo printing has existed for over 200 years. So there is life beyond digital printing, or should I say life before digital printing. So let's talk about this. Now, this, this whole thing started working in my mind uh, during the pandemic. I was going through my pictures. I started shooting in the late 80s, 1980s. So loads of film for almost 15 plus years. I shot on film and parallelly from about 2002, three I was shooting on digital. So loads of digital files, loads of negatives and hardly anything had been printed. I would have probably in my life printed about 10, 15 pictures. So I started thinking about really setting up at home uh, options to print. So the obvious answer obviously, you know, was get a, get a digital printer and start printing. But then what do I do with the negatives? Okay, I could scan them and then print, uh, you know, them digitally. But could I print them analog? Could I not use the computer or the inkjet printer to print them? So that's when I started making this, uh, you know, in classic corporate language, the, the two by two matrix, right? Shoot analog, print analog. So don't involve a computer at all. Shoot analog, that is shoot on film, and then print. That was one option. And then of course, shoot digital, shoot on a digital camera, and then print it on a digital camera. I mean, digital printer. So shoot digital, print digital. So those were obviously available, right? Um, now what about shoot digital and print analog? and shoot analog and print digital. So could I explore all the four combinations? Shoot digital, print digital, shoot analog, print analog, shoot digital, print analog, shoot analog, print digital. And that's the journey I embarked upon uh, somewhere in late 2020. And I think I've, I've reached a stage where I can confidently talk about it um, I can actually talk about the things I did, talk about my experiments, talk about what all I needed to make it possible. And uh, also, very importantly, compare the output. Uh, the processes are very different. And what about the output? You would tend to think that the digital output is way superior to the analog. So I did print the same picture in digital and in analog for comparison. So all of that is coming. So stay tuned, subscribe and hit the notification button because I'm going to start this series which talks about these four combinations and how you can actually set up something like this, how you can do something like this and uh, get uh, outputs.